welcome back to another video my name is Liz if you are new here welcome feel free to comment down below and also subscribe to the channel for weekly content I do beauty lifestyle vlogs and things like that here on my channel so definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel if it's your first time seeing me so today's video I'm actually going to be doing another wig install featuring love me hair so this hair is by far I think my favorite out of all of the wig installs that I've done so far in the last like few videos I think this one is probably my favorite wig so far so this one is actually going to be a curly unit you guys it is a glueless closure unit it's a wear and go wig so y'all already know I've been loving the wear and go units my lifestyle just requires so much of me so typically I am taking my wigs on and off so I love the wear and go units so this one that I am going to be showcasing for y'all today is going to have a breathable cap it is going to be a kinky curly texture with a 5x5 five five closure. I have the 14 inch so it's gonna be a cute little 14 inch curly bob. So so beautiful. I don't do a lot of curly textures but I am starting to get more into the curly looks. Now that I somewhat know and have been able to play around with different styling techniques with the curly I have been able to kind of get into it and you know see like what works best for me. So straight off the box so I just want to show you what the hair looks like straight out the box. If you are someone who just wants to purchase a wig and you don't really want to do anything to it, this would be a great unit. It comes out nice and full, very curly, very fluffy. Like I said, this is going to be a closure unit. I have been wearing it a little bit. The lace does come pre-cut. Okay, so the lace comes pre-cut. So it is a breathable, breathable cap. So it is nice and ventilated ventilated so I like that it's nice and breathable so that way if you do want to keep your wig on you can still you know take care of your natural hair underneath by oiling it or doing whatever you want to do so I appreciate the breathable caps I like to have a breathable cap the HD lace is everything it gives it a more realistic look so I'm super excited for this look today y'all I'm going to show you how it looks when I put it on just straight dry if you are somebody who doesn't really like to do like the wet look then there are multiple ways that you can wear this unit so I like that it is extremely versatile it's easy to care for and manage and you can definitely switch up the style between doing it wet dry or half wet and dry so there are a lot of different ways that you can wear the unit to give different looks so if you like more of a big full look I would say to definitely wear it like a dry look if you want a more defined curly type of look then which I really like that look so I'm going to show you the difference in both and then we're going to wet it down and we're going to wear it wet because it's so 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 cute if you haven't already definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel like this video y'all and comment your thoughts down below follow me on my socials at Liz Glam. I do more content typically on TikTok so definitely make sure to follow me on TikTok if you haven't already. I'm probably more active on TikTok than any of my other social media platforms. I have been wearing the hair. I'm not gonna lie. The hair is beautiful. You know me, you know. I don't really do like curly looks like that. I don't, I'm more of like a straight hair girl. The hair is a bomb. It's nice and bouncy and just full and just gorgeous and luscious I feel like it's crooked a little bit is it okay so this is what she is looking like y'all ready to wear straight out the box I did cut the lace I didn't tint the lace I didn't put makeup on there I didn't do anything so it had how you see it is how it comes I did go ahead and define the curl this is everything I do want to make it a little bit more defined as far as the curl pattern so what I like to do is I'll wet it down and I'll put some products in the hair and then just twist it up so y'all gonna see me go ahead and demonstrate that but girl the hair is absolutely stunning let me use a really good length I feel like if you want something that's going to be like bob length it feels soft very lightweight so here is how I'm gonna style it I'm gonna show y'all how I like to style it the hair is everything okay i am going to show y'all a different way to wear the hair if you wanted to give it a little bit more definition or if you wanted to wear it just nice and fluffy like this you can definitely just leave it dry i'm learning that curly hair really just depends on how you style it when the hair is wet so if you want a more big fluffed out look then you don't do anything you just wet it down and then when it dries you just brush it out for this, if I wanted to find the curls a little bit, like these kind of look like spiral curls. What I'm gonna do is just wet the hair down. It looks like my hair and I love that. Mm. 
Now, usually I would just go ahead and wet all of the hair and then, you know, just wet it down. And then, but because I don't have a sink in here, hello, I'm doing it for this video. I'm just going to use a spray bottle. But faster results, you could just go ahead and put your hair, you could just wet the whole wig. You could wash the wig and then go ahead and style it while it's, you know, drying, while it's wet and everything. And it'll have the same type of look. But the curls, y'all, is just so pretty. It is kinky, kinky curly. And I'm getting more into this. Look at it wet versus dry. It looks so soft. It's so nice. The curl pattern is very much... I'm going to do the back, too. It looks really nice if you want to wear it wet. I like the wet look too. If you want to give it more def definition, then I do like to use a little bit of styling foam on the hair to just kind of make the curls stand out a little bit more. That's what's going to help it to give it that nice like spiral curl type of look. And then you just kind of go through it while the hair is wet. It dries so fast too. That's what I will say. The hair does dry extremely fast. So if you don't have a lot of time, you could do like a damp dry if you want to, you know, just have like somewhat of a curl, but you still want it to be nice and big. If you want like that real wet look, I would wet it down like this, you know, like, like drenched wet. But if you want it to still be somewhat fluffy and full looking, then I would probably just drip just do like semi wet you know but there are so many different ways that you can wear the hair which is why i like it it's really nice and i like that it's pretty easy to manage the curls once you wet it down and everything and you put the product of your choice in the hair then you just go through and you just start to do like coils based on how how big you want the curls would determine obviously like how small the section will be or how big the section will be if i want it to be like very very defined then i'm going to do really really small sections but i like to do a little bit of both i like to do a little bit of both i like to do a little bit of both big and small and then as it dries you can go ahead and pull the curls out so this is all i'm doing y'all and i promise you it seems tedious because i usually i was avoiding doing it this way but it seems tedious but it's definitely worth it because of the definition that you get by doing it this way the hair is just bomb it looks it's worth it it's worth it okay I'm gonna take section by section and do it. Honestly, depending on how tight you want the curls would determine like how, if you want like somewhat of a loose curl but still defined, then you don't then you don't have to do it too tight. You see how I'm doing this like a bigger section? But if you want it more of a bigger, looser curl, then you can just do like a few twists and then leave it. But if you want it to be really, really tight, then you just wanna twist it more and more. So with curly hair, I love that with curly hair, you can make it look how you want it to look. Like if you want it to look big, if you want it to, the curls to look more defined and more like a spiral curl, then you can definitely take your time and do section by section with product. It is going to take longer, but the outcome is just everything. Make sure also that you drench the hair. Drench the hair in the product. Use some styling foam. Or a mousse, even mousse is nice, like a curly mousse. There's a curly mousse that I love to use. It's by Garnier. It is really nice. It is really nice, especially for like if you wanted to do a style like this. This that stuff is everything. So I, I actually have it in my Amazon store. My Amazon store will be linked down in the description box. All of the information for this hair will be linked down below as well. This is a little bit of a tedious type of thing but if you take your time like I said it's definitely worth it that's why I did my makeup off camera because I'm like I already know that this is going to be kind of tedious it, it, it does take you have to take your time and be patient but if you do this once a week it's definitely worth it the curls do last and it also helps to avoid it from being like too frizzy so you know how when you get hair like this sometimes it can look a little bit frizzy if you do this, if you do the curly, the coiled curl method and then allow the hair to dry, you can use a, a, a blow dryer if you want to. I, and I would do like the cool setting. If you want to speed up the drying time, you can use a blow dryer on the cool setting with a diffuser. 
if you don't have a diffuser, just use the blow dryer with a cool setting and that will kind of help to take away the, the frizz a little bit. But if you, if you have time, honestly, I think it looks best when you do the diffuser, but you can also do it with just air drying it too. So yeah, I'm gonna take my time and I'm gonna do each section. I'm trying to hurry up because this hair does dry really fast. I noticed, I'm like, dang, this hair dries fast. So that's the good thing about it. This hair does dry really fast. It's so worth it though. It's so worth it. I even like it when it's wet like this. Like I think it looks really pretty, nice and defined when it's wet. I went ahead and curled, finger curled through the whole entire wig. It only took me about 30 minutes to do. I was just listening to music, watching YouTube, stuff like that. I like to go through a little bit and just kind of fluff up the coils. You see, it's nice and bouncy. It looks literally like spiral curls, so I love that. So I'm gonna just get dressed, you know, do some stuff i like when it's air dry but for the purpose of the video i probably will go ahead and do the diffuse look with my blow dryer and everything so y'all can kind of see how i like to define the curl but this is like the simplest simplest style that's going to give you the curl definition like y'all it's going to come out so beautifully and the hair is already drying so it dries pretty fast i would probably do the diffuse look maybe for about 20 something minutes or so because the hair is honestly really really dry and then I like to flip my head upside down as it's as it's diffusing so that it'll be really really nice and full and fluffy looking so in the meantime I'm going to just go ahead and get dressed and then I will diffuse it on camera so y'all can kind of see the process of diffusing the curls and with the type of look that it will give it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I, it's like semi dry, but I want it to stay like this for maybe like another hour or so. So I'm gonna just kind of let it dry a little bit cause my hair is still definitely damp. It's still damp, so I want it to dry and I want it to dry as much as possible before I pull the curls out. So once it's a, a little bit more dry, I'm gonna continue to diffuse it some and then I'm gonna just probably let it air dry and then I'll go, come back and show y'all the final, final, final finished product. So far it looks so, so cute. I love the curl pattern. I like how it's literally no frizz, but we are gonna see. Okay, so the hair is finally dry. It feels really nice, soft, and stretchy. What I do like about this, doing it this way, is I like that it stretches the curls a little bit. So you get like, you get the maximum amount of length. And when you stretch the curl, it makes it look a lot more defined. It looks so good, y'all. I love it. So I'm going to use this wide tooth comb to go in after I pull the curls out and everything and then go ahead and kind of fluff it up a little bit and give it some volume. 
And let me know what y'all think about the hair so far. It is super cute. It looks like I just got flexi rods all over my hair. I love that. Now, usually I don't do like a lot of product on the hair, especially since I put all that foam on the hair. I'm going to just kind of like let it do its thing. I think this type of hairstyle looks really good when it gets older. Like the older it gets, the more like lived in it kind of looks. So it's really pretty. Some people do this with their fingers and, and kind of like pull out each curl on, on its own, on their own. I like to take my time because I don't want it to be frizzy. I feel like the more you fluff it and do all of that, it does start to get a little bit frizzy. You can also, before you take it out, like pull, you can flip your head upside down, fluff it and shake it. I'm gonna do that afterward, but yeah, I'm gonna just pull out the curls so y'all can get into it. oh my god i like it it's so cute it looks really really defined when you do it this way now like i said there are multiple ways that you can wear this hair so i like that it is super versatile even though it is a kinky curly unit you can still wear a variety of ways and it's glueless fyi she is glueless honey so yes y'all let me know what your thoughts are on this unit click the description for all of the details on this wig this is going to be the 14 inch kinky curly 5x5 wear and go hd lace wig by love me hair super gorgeous love this unit i think this is perfect for anyone who is maybe wanting a somewhat of a low maintenance type of unit something that you can just pop on and go especially with all of their wear and go units they are definitely recommended if you're wanting something to just literally put on and kind of go you don't have to do too much as far as styling it achieve this style i would say it is a little bit more tedious but it's definitely worth it now granted you don't have to wear it this way you can definitely wear it uh just the wet and go kind of look if you want to with a little bit of product and it'll still give it a curly look it won't be this defined but it will still define the curls or you can just wear it dry straight out the box how i wore it when i first came on the video you can wear it wet you can wear it dry you can wear it semi-wet so there's a lot of different ways that you can wear it and i definitely love it i love it this way and even if i wanted to do different looks with it like curl it up a little bit more do maybe like a looser curl you definitely can because it is human hair so definitely check it out you know we gotta switch it up switching it up is everything so thank you love me hair for sponsoring this video let me know your thoughts on this look down in the comment section if you want to go ahead and grab it my code is liz lm all of the details and the description for this unit will be listed down below in the description box if you haven't already girl go ahead and hit that subscribe button so smash that subscribe button like this video share the video comment down below all that good stuff and let me know your thoughts i think this one has probably been one of my favorites so far it looks very very natural i think this is also age appropriate if you are maybe you're getting a wig for like your younger daughter this could definitely be age appropriate for someone who is a little bit younger and they want to start wearing wigs i love that this has lots of definition and i love that you can wear it a lot of different ways from wet to dry to damp dry everything in between this hair is definitely going to give you whatever you are looking for so go down below check out the details for the unit guys don't forget to subscribe like this video share and i will see y'all in the next video